His hair definitely could use a wash. He still loves me. Oh yeah, I have to clean up here. Wow, I really have to pee all of a sudden. Come on, hurry! Excited that I can finally take a bath. Even picked up a bath bomb. I'm just gonna take it easy tonight. Let's see. Mm hmm? For some skincare, I've really been enjoying this face mask. It's very hydrating. And the brand Eminence is Hungarian. They organically farm all of their ingredients in-house. They're B Corp certified and really think about sustainability. And their range of products are quite unique and high quality. I'm finally reading this book I got over a year ago. It's written by a nutritionist, but focuses on the mind as well, just holistic wellness, and offers really simple advice and hacks on how you can improve your habits, taking care of your yourself and also your mentality. The wave is coming! I want to make my bed and start my little routine to get my energy flowing. You have to do dishes or no room whatsoever in the sink. A lot of my meals are plant-based even though I'm not fully vegan. So this scramble is a very simple go-to, just all of the vegetables I might have on hand and some just egg. I like that the book capitalizes on how healthy habits should be reliable when you feel like you don't have time for yourself to self-care, self-soothe and cope when stress and anxiety gets really bad. The book is split into mind, body and spirit and I'm only in the first few chapters. I'll talk more about it when I'm finished. In the last couple of weeks, I felt really potato. Just this entire last year has made me lose all motivation for being presentable or caring about fashion. I've done makeup a few times in the last week, but I'm also hoping to do my hair today, just all around brow hairs. I need to tweeze them and just make it look really nice. Oh my, do you see these lips? I can't find my tweezer anywhere, so I'm using pliers very carefully. I got as much as I was able to, just the big pieces. I'm also going to trim, trim it just a teeny tiny bit with these special non-sharp little scissors. I got this growth serum. I just happened to see it. You use it morning and night to nourish your hair for fuller and longer looking lashes and brows. It's been ages since I played around with the idea of a growth serum. I feel like maybe when I was in high school, I desperately wanted to grow my lashes and whatnot. Oh, oh. Oh, when I put it on the bottom, I can really feel it. Like whatever vapor it is, is like going, rising up into the eyeball. I think it should be okay to put on makeup after this serum. It says just allow two minutes to dry. I'm gonna go for a neutral eyeshadow look. So I darkened the whole eye socket just with one matte brown. And then on top of that, I have a very warm one you see here in the middle of the lid, lesser so the crease area. Now that I've kind of done a lot of eyeshadow on the top, I'm gonna go in with concealer now and set the base. It's not just the appearance, but I also feel like right now I'm glowing up in terms of how I feel, how I treat myself, loosen up on the expectations. I'm getting back into fitness, and right now what I'm trying to do is actually get into martial arts. Part of it is for self-defense, feeling safe living here by myself, and also like wanting to try something new and be toned because of that. And I've only taken two classes. I actually have another class today. When in doubt, just move on to eyeliner and we can touch up the eyeshadow as we see fit later. I'm sort of looking forward to eyeliner these days because I've changed up the way I do my wing. I extend it further. I let my iris touch the very edge and I want the wing to be at least the same width, if not a little longer, than the iris. So big. And then I even line the inner corner just a teeny tiny bit because it doesn't look good when I draw the really accentuated kind of like line -ness eyeliner. My eyes are too close together when that happens, but just a tiny bit. So I'm definitely filling in the brows all right, but I can tell the serum is there. So I don't think I'll be doing this in the future. I like to draw on some fake lower lashes. I don't have any use for the brow flick except for that purpose. The next thing I have here is a mascara from Milk Makeup as well. I got them at the same time. I'm kind of disappointed to be honest. I just have to work really hard to 
get it to not look clumpy as hell what this feels like is like a five month old crusting almost expired product and this is new so i'm using my old mascara I'm trying to remove some of the clumpiness with this brush dark eyeshadow but i don't follow the lash line i just make it a little bit lower i'm not really sure what color will go seven years later still using the same thing sometimes i don't even need to add lipstick on top of it but for the sake of it let's try something it's very creamy and matte i feel like i could use a little more bronzer this is just me last last thing finally would be some highlight and let's move on to hair i think christmas was the last time i heated it but i'm also embracing my natural hair i used to hate hate my straight hair i find it beautiful but just for some variety i got myself a new straightening iron i've been saving it for two weeks just to do it right now it's from the brand lange i basically just went online and typed in cute straightener figured it's time for a new one and keeping it in my bathroom i have like no room right in this little studio so i'm reducing what i have but also upping the quality stuff that sparks joy when i see it it feels way lighter than i expected kind of like cheap in that sense i got it on sale even the cord is pink. I know that tape must bother you. I just got some new furniture in. You'll see in the next upcoming vlog. Lots of organization still needs to happen. Guess I'm just gonna hold it. Okay. Oh, the fan suddenly turned on. Oh, it's hot. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go for a effortless loose waves. We'll see how it goes. Kind of like dragging my hair through wow that's actually pretty curly i'm gonna turn down the temp i used to always curl my hair towards my face because i loved the vintage or retro waves i'm gonna go a little modern i think that will suit the makeup really well it's so strange because it doesn't feel hot but the plate when i touched the plate it was indeed quite hot here i'm gonna try turning on the fan oh yeah and i guess i totally forgot to section my hair like layer top to bottom but i'm so lazy i don't want to do that right now i'm going for a blowout look i think that's what i what i mean because also when i curl it by my face I, I don't i don't feel the heat either i think because there's the airflow and for the other ones i'm just going to curl it whatever way opposite ways i think it doesn't really matter so this is called le duo because it is mainly a straightener it's like flat but it has a circular barrel so for curling your hair that would be really great i don't really like what's going on over here let's see if i can get it to be more voluminous by heating up the root letting it dry like this and letting it fall yeah that kind of worked you see slightly okay i think i'll just stop fussing with it good enough plus i have no other plans except to go take martial arts tonight i don't know if i'm gonna wash my face first or just get sweaty and i have to tie up my hair so it's not a big deal i'm not seeing anybody today i just wanted to do a little glow up and i don't have really any cute clothes to glow up to except my new sweats believe it or not even though this is kind of like comfy exercise clothes i still feel more rejuvenated because it's a nice color i kind of look like the mom and mean girls let me just get up was this a successful glow up let me know in the comments i i don't i'm not very sure still easing myself back in to this whole makeup and hair game but it's a good start thank you so much for keeping me company and just chilling out it was nice to finally take a break and i will see you very soon with the second moving vlog sending you my love please take care